What's going on guys today I'm back my name is Cage and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make more professional looking videos for your YouTube channel in 2020. I'm gonna be covering everything from lighting to cameras to tripods to editing software and all of the items I use will be linked in the description down below so without further ado let's get right into it. So my main camera that I use is the one I'm filming on right now it is the Canon G7X Mark II. I got this camera about two years ago and for what it's worth it's a very very good camera it's super easy to use and I would definitely recommend it to anybody starting a YouTube channel. Now if you're starting out a YouTube channel and you're not sure if you're gonna go through with it, I definitely recommend just using your phone for the start. That's what I did. I used to use my iPhone 6S to record videos until I knew I wanted to pursue YouTube and then I invested in this camera, which was the best decision ever. Like I said, it's a rather affordable camera. I bought mine a few years ago. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but it's probably gone down since when I got it. And one other good thing is it's super easy to use. Like you don't need four years of film school experience to learn how to use this. It's super lightweight. So when I'm not just recording at my desk and having the camera set up on the tripod and I'm actually holding it, my arm doesn't feel like it's about to fall off. So with this camera, it's got a couple different modes. It's got like night mode, so if you're shooting videos at night, it'll make it look better. It's got modes that can blur out the background, so if you want just you to be in focus and the background to be kind of blurry, then you can do that as well. And you can play around with a bunch of other settings, so definitely a very nice camera to have. Okay, moving on to lighting now. Lighting is super important in videos because even if you're using a very, very high quality camera, if you're sitting in a dark room, the quality is gonna be pretty horrible, so you wanna make sure you have the best lighting possible. Now, if you're not looking to spend a bunch of money on a ring light, then the best thing you can do is sit in front of a window, which is what I'm doing right now. As you guys see, I have this massive ring light here, and I'm pretty sure it can get taller than me, so it's very, very good for filming at night or any other time of the day. So if you don't have a problem with spending money on decent lighting, then here's the ones I recommend. And with this ring light, it has two different filters that you can put on it. One is more of a white light, more of a natural looking light, and then the other one is more of an orange looking light, so if you're kind of pale like me, me, then you might want to use the orange one because it'll kind of hide your paleness. So I'm not a lighting expert, but I think this is what's called hard light and there's also soft light and there's things that you can soften light with. So I actually don't have this right now, but I'm looking into getting what's called, I think an umbrella light. Basically it's a bulb with kind of an umbrella looking thing over top of it, which softens the light, which makes it look more natural. So it's not as harsh on your face. It's kind of just smooth. Do you know what I mean? Do, do you know what I mean guys? Am I, am I just saying nonsense? Probably. Also another fun thing you can do with lighting is get some colored lights. As you guys see up here, I've got some colored lights going across my ceiling. I'm sure you've seen these in other videos or you might already have them yourself, but they're super cool. Add a little splash of color. I really like them. And in my my room in the new house I'm gonna be putting even more colored lights and it's gonna be super cool so yeah there will definitely be a room tour coming soon but uh, yeah we still gotta we still gotta move so yeah okay so moving on to tripods I actually have quite a few that I use so I'm gonna show you them all now I have my main one which I'm using to record at my desk right now it's just a small tripod it's also the one I use for vlogging so it's very easy to hold out in front of you like this and instead of just holding the camera by itself, it's very nice to have like a big handle that you can hold. And with this one, you can bend the legs so it can fit any shape you want or sit anywhere you want. Now, this is actually the second one of this exact type because the last one I had, I had it for a few months and it broke. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. It was a very cheap tripod. I didn't want to spend $100 on a tripod that was this small and then have it break anyway. I think this one was maybe like $13. So yeah, this is my second one. I'm probably gonna have to buy another one soon. For 13 bucks, lasting me a few months, I'll take it. So then I also have a big tripod which can extend all the way to six feet or about six feet. So when I'm filming not at my desk and I need to set up my camera somewhere, I can just set my camera there and I can adjust it all the way up so it's level with my face. And that one was a little more expensive. I think that one was like maybe 50 or 60 bucks but you can get one just like that for like 20 but I wanted a higher end one that would last me forever and this one is lasting me quite a while so I'm happy with it also my ring light has a spot where you can put your camera on so if you're ever filming with the ring light and you're looking directly into it you can just set your camera right in the middle of it so it'll be the best lighting possible and my last tripod that I have is actually a phone tripod so if I ever need additional angles for something then I can film on my phone and I can set my phone on the tripod and I can get any angle I want because as of right now I just have my one main camera that I'm filming on so if I do want any more additional angles I have to use my phone so it's really good for situations like that also if I want super slow-mo on my phone then again it's good to set up my phone and get an additional angle okay so moving on to editing software now if you're starting out again I wouldn't recommend spending a lot of money on an editing program but I recommend is getting a free program such as iMovie when I was starting filming videos I used to film on my phone and edit on my phone using iMovie and that worked out great for me but now I use a program called Adobe Premiere Pro and it's one of the highest programs out there so I love it I learned how to use this program 
few years ago when I was in high school and I was taking a media class and I haven't looked back since. As soon as I finished that class, I went home and I bought that program and I've been using it ever since and I love it. The amount of things you can do with it are essentially endless, but unfortunately it is rather expensive. So definitely I recommend waiting until you're sure you wanna pursue YouTube until you buy this. But for now, I would definitely recommend sticking with iMovie. One additional note is if you're a student, I don't know if you have to be a high school student, you might also be able to be a college student, but I'm neither. If you log into Adobe using your school email, then you get a discount. I think it's only $20 a month as opposed to 50. So unfortunately I pay $50 a month for my editing program. But like I said, if you do have a school account, you can get a very, very, very big discount. Also speaking of editing, if you guys want to see a behind the scenes video of how I edit my videos and you want me to show you the whole process of how I edit and the behind the scenes and how I take the thumbnail and how I edit the thumbnail and all that stuff, then let me know with the comment down below and I'll definitely make that happen for you guys. I don't know. I think that would be really cool because normally I just do it. I don't really talk about it. So I feel like showing you guys would be super cool. And I feel like it would be interesting to watch because now that I think about it, there's a lot Lot more that goes into it than someone would think so yeah let me know if you want to see that so yeah that's basically all the equipment i use for my youtube videos so hopefully this helped you out in some way hopefully this gave you some ideas of what you should be getting for your youtube channel and by the way if you guys are starting a youtube channel and you want me to check it out leave in the comments what kind of videos you film and you might see me pop up in one of your comments on your newest video but yeah as always don't forget to get your merch first link in the description while you're down there consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing and turning post notifications on because i post every monday wednesday and friday and you guys will be the first to be notified every time i upload anyway i hope this video helped you out but for now I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. You don't own me.